In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you need if you start a karate class. Now, even if you're fresh out of the blocks and never done karate before, you're coming back to it after a long break or just switching classes, I'm going to give you all the information on all the equipment that you would possibly need for that class. I'll go through all of the individual items one by one, giving you a little bit of information on them, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in karate. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and you'll get all the latest videos from us here at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn about all the things you could possibly need for training in cry. So we'll say right at the beginning that you don't necessarily need anything when you go to most martial arts classes. Most people allow you to just walk in and train, but there are a few things that are definitely, definitely essentials if you wanna go and train at your first karate class. And that would definitely be one, loose fitting clothing, and secondly, a water bottle. They are really gonna be essential. Now, most people will expect people walking in off the street just to, you know, have nice loose clothing that you don't mind getting pulled about and yanked. Don't go in expensive clothing and stuff that you like. You know, obviously people do turn up in jeans and things like that, it's not really gonna work. So, nice loose fitting clothing, a bit of water bottle, that's definitely gonna get you through the first class or two make sure you like it make sure you know that you're into it and you don't mind investing a bit of money and then you can start looking at the actual kit you need now i think starting off with karate the first thing that you want to get yourself will be a white lightweight karate gi now this is going to be the gi that almost everyone who starts out in karate is going to get just a standard lightweight karate gi pretty much all of them across the board on similar price range are going to be very very similar so we sell these at Enzo Martial Arts, just a standard lightweight karate gi, and this is what most people use when you're starting out. Now, if you're coming back to karate and you wanna you know, get back into it and you don't wanna go with a lightweight because they're not the most comfortable gis, they're not the most durable, and you want something a little bit better, you could go for the heavyweight karate gi. Now, this is a much more durable gi, much more comfy, perfect for winter because it will keep you a little bit warmer in those cold, cold training halls. Holds its color much better and much more comfortable to train in. Also makes a really, really nice snap when you're punching, so it's definitely a way better gi. Obviously, the price reflects that as well, but if you want to, especially if you're coming back to training, you know, you've been out for a long while, you want to get yourself a nice gi, treat yourself a little bit, this is definitely the gi to go for. Now, not all clubs wear white gis. Now, some clubs do wear black, which we also stock at Enzo, and we do these in the heavyweight that Eric is showing now. We also do a lightweight karate gi, which are really similar price to the lightweight white karate gis. If you want to really treat yourself and get one of the best karate gis in the world, you could go for the Tokaido karate gi. Now, this is the Karate Kata Master. They also do a kumite gi, very, very lightweight for sparring. So you get the choice of two, the heavyweight with the nice snap for kata and the kumite for sparring. Now, of course, if you're brand new to a class, you could definitely walk in in the Takedo gi. But you know, most people I think would want to feel like they've got a bit of karate under their belt first. So maybe if you're going back to a class after a long time, the Takedo gi would be really good. You know, if you're new, you probably want like a nice lightweight karate gi. If you get cold in the winter, heavyweight is definitely a good option, but there's loads of choice for you there to choose from. Another thing that's worth thinking about is getting yourself a belt. Now, all the lightweight karate gis, the lightweight white and the black come with belts. All the others, you need a belt. If you're going back to karate after some time, you probably need to get yourself a belt. Some people want to walk in as a white belt. Some people want to go in as their original grade. That's totally up, for, up to you. You can choose what you want to do, but it's worth noting that these three gis don't have belts with them. So you've got your gi, you're pretty set up, you can go to class, you can train, you don't feel out of place, that's absolutely brilliant. Now there are a few other things that's definitely worth considering getting for that karate class. The first thing I would definitely think about getting, because they're very inexpensive, is a gum shield. Definitely worth getting a gum shield, it's not worth 
paying for all the dental fees if you do have tooth knocked out and you get sort of teeth and gum problems. They're really, really cheap and definitely you can just have them in your bag, really easy to carry around. So if you do get invited to do a little bit of sparring, it's definitely worth just being able to chuck that straight in your mouth. Now all the gum shields we do here, Enzo Martial Arts are all the boil and bite ones, so you just chuck them in water for 10 seconds, straight in your mouth, super, super easy. Um, and it's definitely something that you, when you need it, you want it in your bag straight away. So that's definitely worth thinking about. Now something really low on people's priority list, but it has no reason to be low. It should be high, are definitely groin guards. Now we do two types, well, we do loads of different types of groin guards here, but for karate, pretty much everyone uses the jock strap, jock strap style groin guard, which is like the elasticated with the removable cup. We also have compression shorts with a built-in cup. They're a much newer thing. You know, not so many people use them, but they would be very, very good for karate training. But the cheapy elasticated groin guards have definitely been really popular for years and years and years. And it's really essential. If you want to do sparring, it just doesn't make any sense not to have one. They're cheap, so no excuses. Get yourself a groin guard. Now for karate, we do do the karate mitts, which, you know, some people confuse with boxing gloves or sparring gloves, but this is a karate specific glove, like almost like an open hand, but they're very, very molded into the shape of a fist with thumb protection on them on the wrist strap. And these come in white, blue and red. If you're training in a club, most people will use white for training and red and blue for competitions. So if you want some gloves, you want to do a little bit of sparring early on, it's definitely worth getting some gloves. Now, another essential item for sparring is the shin and instep pads. Now, these do vary a little bit, but for most people training in the club, the elasticated pads are pretty much a dead cert. These are going to be perfect. Now, it might be worth checking with your instructor, but the shin and instep pads are really 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 important definitely when you're starting out and you haven't built up the conditioning of your shins and feet and you're not used to kicking people you're going to really want something like this if you don't have them it just hurts it can put you off training it can be pretty miserable so they're definitely one for the kickback now really important thing and it's kind of a bit of information for people that have already been training so it's good that you know it before you go is some sort of footwear where you can walk from the changing room to the mat because all karate clubs will be training in bare feet and you know you're on a mat you don't want to be getting your dirty bare feet on the mat so lots of people will have some kind of footwear like flip-flops or slippers that they walk from the changing room onto the mat we sell the very traditional tatami zori sandals with the nice straw top absolutely brilliant these are like the top kind of flip-flop as it were to wear for martial arts brilliant for karate but like I said, any kind of footwear that you can just slip on and off easily, like flip-flops or slippers, will be perfect. Definitely one for the kit bag. So that's pretty much all of the essential kit you'll need to start your karate class. Moving classes, if you're coming back into it, good essential list. So water bottle, definitely. Karate gi, gum shield, groin guard, sparring gloves, sparring shins, and definitely some sort of slip-on footwear. The raw essentials for any karate club. But, you know, if you've been training karate a long time and you happen to be watching this video, there are loads of other things that we have for sale at Enzo that you could definitely benefit from having. Included loads of different types of Makawara canvas, leather, and the brilliant straw Makawara. If you can fit it in, in your house, it's well worth thinking about a really heavy punch bag. Now it is worth mentioning some of the weapons we have at Enzo Martial Arts. Not all karate clubs, clubs will train them. It's kind of in the name, empty hand, but a lot of people will move on to some of the Japanese Kabuto weapons. So the bow staffs, but we also have Kama, Sai, Tomfa, check out the website because there's loads and loads on there at enzomartialarts.com. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training in karate.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you now full of information about everything you need for a karate class. I hope it was useful. If you enjoyed the video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from us here at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.